Hi, this is Grace Pamela with Summerana.com, and this is the preview and tutorial for the Color Me Fall preset and brush collection. So here's a quick before and after. Your, all of your presets will be on the left side after you've installed them, and all of your adjustment brushes will be here, and you can click Effect, and then you can go down to your brushes. Now, when you have... Uh, I want to reset this image, so I'm going to go down and click Reset. However, it won't get rid of your brushes. So what you want to do is click the brushes, right click, and delete anytime you want to reset. If you already have an edited image, you can skip the all-in-one clean base and go down to these other adjustable presets or go straight to your fall colors. So I'm going to click all-in-one clean base. And then I'm going to go down and just um, go to Softing, Creamy Soft. I'm just going to be working on my background here a little bit. And I'm going to go to Apple Crisp, just to bring back some of that sharpness to her face. And then I'm going to go to Adjustment Brush, and go down to Creamy Soft. This is an additional soft. And to adjust the opacity on your brush, you can go to Density here. And I'm going to make sure it's all the way up to 10. And you can adjust the size here. Or you can use the brackets on your keyboard. I'm just going to spot treat it here. Just so it's a little more creamy. There we go. Now, if something is too much, such as contrast boost or any of these at all, the exposure, um, you can click it and then watch which sliders are moving over here. That way you can see what has been changed and you can adjust it yourself. So let's go to Recover Highlights. Now if you look, if you watched over here, you can see that the highlight slider changed. So you can go in and adjust it there. Otherwise, what you can do also is you can install the Fader plugin, which is free, and it only takes a minute to install. You can click the Fader, select the folder with uh, the Color Me Fall preset collection, select the preset you would like, and we are working on the Recover Highlights. And then here, you can adjust the opacity of it also. This does not work on the the ones with multiple presets, such as Clean Base, but it does work for a lot of them. There you go, then press OK. Now here we have our fall colors. These are the presets. Um, it will change the color of skin tone. So if you don't want to change the color of your skin tone, you can use either the um, color cast brushes to brush it off or you can just use the color the fall color brushes so we also have a flare to adjust your flare you click the radio filter then you select this dot up here and then you can move it wherever you like You can also adjust how you like it. Make it bigger or smaller, however you like. And if you don't like it, you can undo, or you can click that dot. right click and delete. You also have a soft haze, a rich matte, and again if you do not like it you can undo. Clarity, you have different color tonings. 
Autumn Splendor, Golden Spell, November Trees. These are nice for after you've already put your fall colors on. And then you also have your tools. That will just level out your image a little bit and you reset. And then you also have Reigniting. Now I'm going to show you the color, the adjustment brushes. I'm going to choose uh, October Foliage. And now here, when you paint on your brushes, sometimes it might be too bright. So what you can do is you can adjust the density of your brush. And you can mix and match these. You can have a little orange up here or a golden in another area, wherever you like. You can also mix and match the density. And don't worry if you get it some places where you don't want it. You can come back and erase that and I'll show you that in a minute. This is just a rough edit. And then you can increase the density and go over again in areas where you want a lot of the color just for example. And if you're not sure if um, that is the color that you want, you can go back up here and choose a different color. And it will change for you. If you want an additional color, then you would go over to New and there you can select a new dot, so to say. So then you can choose another one and you can start another color. Now to erase, click the dot that you were working on. Remember this is our, our creamy soft and this is our fall color, October and you can select erase choose your size and then you can erase parts You can decrease your flow if you don't want as much erased off. Just for example. If you have a color cast that you want to get rid of, you can go to New and then select Fix Green or Orange. I'm going to select Orange. Again, check the density of how much it's going to work. You can also use this as a way to get rid of some of that orange. You can also use the green if you have any on her skin or anything like that. I don't think I'm missing anything. I'm going to go and show you on another image. I'm just going to go over really quick on the actual presets for the colors. You 
There's color flash, contrast boost. You can cool down, warm up. And again, if it's too much, you can either use the fader plugin or you can adjust it over here in the sliders. So here are the fall colors. There's bare November, the fall beginnings, golden leaves, and October last. Now here I'm going to show you, you see there's a lot of um, color cast on her. So you can go up to the adjustment brush and select fix orange. I think the density might be too much so I'm going to bring it down. You can paint some of it off. up a tad bit. This is a lot of orange. And here is the before and after. Just a quick run through. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Thank you so much for watching.